by no means an easy deed. It takes a strong mind, a courageous one, to even fathom ideas, much less begin to dream. And why should we, anyway? Why should we push ourselves and strive for greatness when the idea of mediocrity seems so appealing? Why should we dream at all? I remember being greatly bothered by the fact that I was the only female in the robotics club. Back then, I wondered if it would be worth it to just go on to another club, like dance or drama, just so that I'd be around people I actually fancied. It would all be worth it, though, because I was chasing a dream. But I will have to admit that's not the only reason I joined the robotics club. I joined to avoid the competitions and crowds the other clubs seemed to revolve around. In all honesty, I enjoyed the silence that came long after everyone else had left, where I'd be tinkering with the machines with only the fans to keep me company. But that would all end very, very soon. Another day I distinctly remember would be the day my instructor came up to us and told us we were going to be doing a, participating in a nationwide event. I could hear the uncertainty in my classmates' voice. They were afraid. But on the other hand, I was almost excited, exhilarated. I could do it. I just knew I could. But even I would have to admit to the fear and uncertainty that crept into my heart as the days grew shorter and the competition day drew nearer. And so I buried myself in my work, making sure every single thing came out right. It had to work out. I didn't know what I would do if it didn't. But things don't always go as planned. And I learned that lesson very quickly as I stood in the midst of my classmates, wondering where all this chaos was coming from. An ask around determined that our robot had gone missing. I was stunned. Missing? That's impossible. I was there when the robot had been carefully packed up and kept in preparation for this very moment. A quick search team determined that our robot was not missing, but in fact, under a bus and torn to shreds. I was devastated. All my months of hard work and weeks of preparation were all gone. And so I said to myself, maybe I just can't do it. There's no use trying anymore. And so as I walked up to the judges panel, ready to submit my team's defeat, an idea struck me. This is a robotics club, which means that there are going to be spare robots around. All we would need to do was program the robot and upload our code into it. It would be that simple. I walked back to my team and surprised them with this new plan. I could hear it in their voices. They were hesitant, afraid, but so was I. And I knew we had to do it. This was our only chance. And so, a lot of begging data and a new, slightly faulty robot, and we were crouched by the stage, trying desperately to upload our program into it. The models were clashing, and so it was proving extremely difficult to upload our robots into it. It's all hard to work out, though, because what would we do if it didn't? We placed our robots and stepped safely behind the line. It had a simple task to do. All it had to do was complete an obstacle course, and we would be done. I stood still, almost afraid. If this didn't work out, it would be nationwide embarrassment. And so I knew I had to get it right this chance. I, would, I wouldn't have another. The robot whirred to life and began to move around the obstacle course. It bumped into things and tumbled and tossed, and I was so scared that I sucked in a breath. But when it walked past the finishing line, I exhaled in relief. I saw the scoreboard counting and counting the seconds. 6.25 seconds was its final verdict. I exhaled. 6.25 seconds? That was third place. In a nationwide event, we had come third place. I didn't even think I was going to make it to the top five, but here I was, resting comfortably in third place. With the bronze medal around my neck, I finally smiled. 
And so my advice to all of you would be to dream. If you can, if you want to do it, nothing can stop you. The only opponent you ever have is yourself. Thank you very much.